Hi guys, Dazzo from MigratePhone.com and I've just got to show you this. Um, this is the next launcher from the, the guys that brought you Go Launcher and Go Launcher Pro and Go Launcher X and those kind of things. Um, it's basically a new take on launcher. It's not so two dimensional, it's not so flat. It's a very, very um, dynamic launcher. It might look very familiar to begin with, but I assure you that's not the case. What makes it a bit different is to begin with, we've got lots more animation. So you'll see that things are very reactive, um, little animations, things like that. The grid itself is a lot more dynamic, so when we take an icon, for example, as you're moving it around on the screen, you're not restricted to a grid area, and but you can have guides and things to help you line them up um, with other icons, but you, it goes far beyond just a standard sort of grid. This dynamic little drawer here um, opens and closes like so. It's very, very fluid and very, very fast and open. This is pretty much the default uh, base drawer, but you can see that I can actually customize that and add things. There doesn't seem to be any restrictions, so um, the guys that go in or next have um, left it really down to you about how you organize your front screen. Now there's lots of different options for the way that things roll around, just like you'd expect with um, any kind of dynamic launcher. But there's some areas where this really differs, so um, let's say we're going to load up the app drawer, I'll load up the apps that are currently installed, um, and we want to add one to a home screen. This is quite a cool feature. So we click that button there. And now what we're able to do is very quickly go between the screens that we've got actually as home screens and all the apps. And just drag and drop onto the screen. And you'll see that it's replicated almost instantly. Each icon's got lots of options associated with it. So if you hold down on it, you'll see they get displayed. One is to obviously uh, bring out those guides. You can bin them. You can rotate icons. You can edit. You can add to folders and things like that. Um, everything seems to have just been enhanced and customized in this sort of launcher that you, you you find extra things the more and more you play with it, even down to just using settings and things like that. There's all these extra um, bits of eye candy and bits of thought that have gone into the way that you uh, select things and add them to the screens, um, and I'm still finding bits myself. It's only just gone live, it has been beta for a long time. Um, but there's 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 just huge amounts to it really. It's uh, it comes with its own live wallpapers, um, and also it will allow you to use your own ones. Um, so if I go to use one that I particularly like, you'll see that it works absolutely perfectly with Go Launcher, um, Next Launcher. There's the usual sort of settings for your uh, application screen where you can sort in different ways. It just seems to be very, very responsive and very fast. Remember, this is just an Xperia S. It's, um, by today's standards, it's certainly not uh, particularly powerful, but you can see that as far as launchers go, um, you might get some delays in some of the, you know, say, Go Launcher X. As it's moved on, it's become more and more power hungry. Um, and this just, just seems to be very cut down and very light even though there's a, a huge amount of customization and eye candy that, to everything really. So if I just go into horizontal transition, so transition, you can see it's a very um, aesthetic and uh, visual launcher as far as launchers go. Um, I just thought I'd give you a preview. As I learn more about it, um, I might come back and show you some more. But I do recommend you go out there and download this. As far as Android launchers go, this seems to be um, one of the better. There's just The more you do, you can just see how much polish has been added um, to every aspect of the uh, launcher experience. And um, I really hope to see lots of themes and things that will keep uh, benefit in this, this application. Okay, so go and download it. It's the next launcher. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like this. Bye-bye.